The devil's smart. He's strong. But compared to my God, he is dumb. He is weak. See, the devil hadn't counted on the fact that before he ever came up with that evil plot to get what God hated inside of what God loved, God was already at work. God already had a plan. He already had in mind what Revelation says, a lamb slain from the foundation of the world. That was the genius of God's plan. See, God stood over here in His holiness and His perfection, and He couldn't help us because He was perfect and holy. And man couldn't help us because man was now filled with and polluted by and perverted by sin. This is the genius of God's plan. God who was holy, man who was sinful, and this great gap between us. God took on a body of flesh and came to earth in the person of Jesus Christ. The Bible tells us he was made in the form of man, but he was without sin. He came so he could provide himself a lamb. Don't ever misunderstand this. God did not send somebody else to die for us. God loved you so much that He took on a body that could feel pain, a body that could be hurt, a body that could be wounded, and He came to earth and gave Himself on Calvary. He who knew no sin, He became sin. He took on our sin so that we who knew no righteousness could now take on His righteousness. That's the genius of God's plan. The Bible says in Romans 8, for what the law could not do, it was too weak. See, you can keep a lot of rules and regulations and restrictions, but that's not going to save you. That's not going to help you. It's too weak. It was weak through the flesh. But here's what did fix it. God sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin, he condemned sin in the flesh. Literally, he shut down the power of sin. God stepped into this world. He hung on a cross. He gave his life. And he literally shut down the power of sin. He took it away. He nailed it to his cross. And so today, we get to stand free. We get to be a holy in God's sight. Not because we're so good, but because Jesus is so good. Not because we're so righteous, but because Jesus is righteous. Thank you, Pastor. And you say, why would you stand in a building and praise Him? Oh, that's enough for me. God took my sin so that I can spend eternity in heaven.